KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you, Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Today's address is one in a series where he will provide factual historical information in order to set the record straight. Let us begin. Governor, half a day. After his request for a written response to the House Committee investigating his expenditures, NMI Governor Ralph Torres is producing an online video series to address the allegations head on before he may be asked to testify under oath. In the first video released on Wednesday, he addresses concerns around his utility bills. In early 2000, DPW condemned the governor and lieutenant governor's uh, house up at Capitol Hill. So since then, uh, every governor and lieutenant governor would stay at their resident and the government would pay for their utility. That includes water and power. The government has never paid a uh, mortgage on mine. And I'm not sure if that has happened in the past, but I do know that in, since I got in as a lieutenant and governor, I've paid my mortgage. But what about his utility bills and the thousands tied to his piggery? He says he reached out to CUC Director Gary Camacho to separate the meters, one for his residence and the other for the piggery on his property. To be clear, um, the government has not paid a penny on the private meter that deals with the piggery. That comes out of your own pocket. That comes up from the other account. He says he hasn't gotten any special treatment and at one point had to borrow cash from loved ones to pay for costs held up by government paperwork. He also addressed payments to an account under his sister. When I uh, won the lieutenant governor, uh, my sister moved into the Cobbler house prior to that. So her name was on the billing. When I won and I moved in, um, CUC asked that I had two choices, either to disconnect and have it under my name and then charge again reconnection fee. So the first they'll charge a disconnection and then connection fee, or just write a letter from my sister authorizing me to use the house under her name with authorization. So we have that in record that she gave me authorization to stay. The legislative committee approved his subpoena months ago, but has yet to issue it. Another video is expected to be uploaded to Facebook next week. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.